All right guys, so check out this Instagram feed by Harry Wonder and he's breaking those so-called rules or guidelines of not letting your whites blend in with the background and always adding a little bit of fade into your blacks. So you can go give him a follow at Harry Wonder and if you really like his work, you can go check out his prints he offers over at harrywonder.com. So really awesome work. Highly recommend checking him out. So as we come down, we can see really bright whites, really dark blacks, and very obvious, really cool tones. A lot of blues. And yeah, let's jump in Lightroom, see what we can do. So as you can see, here's his image from his Instagram, and we have the unedited image as well. So we've cropped it, 4x5, and the very first thing I'm gonna do to this image bring up some whites bring up some shadows bring down the blacks now and got to bring up those whites as well down we'll do some tone curving and I'm gonna leave the whites right at the top so looking good so far so I don't have many colors within this image to figure out the HSL but I can see his face is quite desaturated so I'm gonna bring down oranges And the blues already look really good, so I'm just going to leave everything how they are. And I'm going to do some split toning. So, I'm going to put blue in the highlights and in the shadows. And we're already getting really close. So pretty much all we have to do now is using, he doesn't look like he uses vignettes, but rather filters to really, uh, to really frame his image. So I'm gonna do things like exposure all the way down. As you can see, we couldn't get rid of those whites. So I'll bring those highlights down shadows and whites and it's quite a harsh fall off so I think that looks alright and we've got another one down here. I'm gonna bring down the exposure. Just going to duplicate that, bring it over here, as you can see there's one down here going across the bottom.
and we're looking pretty good. Just one other thing, grab your brush, and we want to broaden up this rock here. As you can see, it's been broadened up. So turn on that little box down there and see where you're brushing. Now also just want to bring out the bottom of our waterfalls are looking good and the tops are. So I think he's done a little brushing along here. And what I'm going to do is bring up the exposure. Maybe contrast. And the shadows, maybe. Some whites. His rock looks a little more grungy. Drop those blacks. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. So, before, after. I really like how he's used, he's framing a lot. And he hasn't framed on the sides, but he's done a really harsh framing on the top and bottom. And he achieved this smooth looking waterfall by having a slow shutter. So if you come up here to histogram, you can see all the camera settings for this photo. And he kept his shutter one second long so that gives that smooth look to the water and if you actually zoom in you can see that's why he's looking a little fuzzy his hands moving because it moved while the shutter was open i think he's actually fixed it up probably used photoshop or something and yeah that's about it guys sweet so you guys can go give him a follow at his Instagram will be in the description and yeah thanks for watching comment down below if you know of anyone else I should be do I should do and yeah check out my preset pack and yeah catch you guys in the next one